Hey guys! So I know that this background looks slightly different and that is because this is the first video that I'm filming from London. I've still been uploading but it's just all the content that I filmed when I was still back at home. And for the next few months it's going to be a bit choppy and changey with my backgrounds, my lighting and all that good stuff. So just bear with me while we deal with that. But today I finally got the chance to sit down and film a video because I've been here for three weeks now so I have done a bit of shopping so I thought I would just show you guys what I bought recently and I'm kind of splitting this up into doing skin well like beauty and skincare and then I'll do a fashion one later on when I feel like I have enough to show you guys but for today let's just get started with the beauty and skincare so hair wise I got the L'Oreal Botanicals Fresh Care Shampoo and Conditioner and I heard about these from Lydia Millen because she's a YouTuber and she spoke about these before I came so I knew I wanted to try these because my hair has just been in its chops in the last few months. It's just felt so dry and like just terrible so this is a new range from L'Oreal and it's for unruly hair specifically it has no silicones parabens or colorants so i really wanted to try this more natural range from them i've loved l'oreal's hair care before and i've really been enjoying using these two first of all the packaging is just beautiful it's the same price as normal shampoos and stuff that you get here and i've just been loving the effect that this has had on my hair then for skincare i always get these simple face wipes when i'm here not that they're that much better than the Garnier ones but we just can't get simple back at home so I always pick up a pack of these when I'm here and these are the oil balancing cleansing wipes for healthy clear skin and I've really been enjoying these. Then for moisturizer this is the CeraVe moisturizing lotion for dry to very dry skin. I've got pretty like combination oily skin but I just I heard so many good things about this that it was an affordable just no mess no fuss kind of moisturizer which is exactly what I was looking for. I'm not really a fan of putting heavily fragranced things on my face or just you know I'd rather just go in with something super basic that I know is going to moisturize my skin and this has been doing just that. I'm thinking of buying a bottle of this before I come home because we don't get this at home which sucks but this has been amazing. Then for a mask I got the L'Oreal Pure Clay Blemish Rescue Mask and these I know are available in South Africa and then this is a newer one. This is the Pure Clay Blemish Rescue Mask so for that time of the month when hormones kick in and just give you all of those wonderful gifts I really wanted to get this to use at those times because I just needed something that was just a rescue which is exactly what this does and I've been I really really enjoyed using this. I really saw the effects after one use and this says that you can use it two times per week which is amazing so if you keep up with that and you suffer with blemishes this is a really good one to try then for eye cream I really needed one of these before I came to London but I wanted to wait until I got here because I really wanted to try the origins brand and this is called the eye doctor moisture care for skin around the eyes the packaging is absolutely beautiful I've been loving loving using this lately it's kind of a, an in-betweener when it comes to consistency it's not light but it's not super heavy it's not as heavy as the Kiehl's avocado eye treatment but I've just been loving this. I use it day and night and it's really done a really good job of moisturizing my under eye area. For maybe about two to three weeks before I left, I didn't have any eye cream and my concealer and everything was just settling so weirdly around my eyes. So an eye cream is an absolute necessity and I've been loving this one. Then from a brand that I'd heard about loads, this is The Ordinary and their packaging, first of all, is just to die for. It's super basic, super minimal and I've heard so many good things about this brand and it is like ridiculously cheap considering what it is. So when you look at The Ordinary online, I bought mine from Cult Beauty and when you look at their brand, it's very intimidating because this one says lactic acid 10% plus HA. So I have no idea what any of that means and most of their products say that. It's got like different percentages and different scientific -y kind of names. So it is quite intimidating but I just kind of went with what the review said and what they say about the product and what it's supposed to do and that's kind of what I base my judgment off of. So this one in particular was meant to deal with on the back it says visibly targets uneven tone, textural irreg irregularities and fine lines. So as I said before I'm kind of doing like introducing anti-aging products into my skincare and I noticed in the past few months, I don't know if it's the water in Cape Town or what it was, but I noticed that texture started to creep up along my cheeks and I needed something that was going to fight that. So I thought I'd try this and it's been seriously, seriously working. I would highly recommend The Ordinary Skincare. It's super cheap, so I think this one was like five pounds for a bottle. 
and they have loads of products to try and they also have some makeup which I'm going to talk about in a sec. Then for nails, this one was gifted to me. This is the OPI Best Crew Aboard. It's like a travel pack of nail polishes. <laughs> It's so cute. Look how tiny they are. Let me actually just get one out of the box so I can show you. So this is basically a set of six polishes from OPI and I love OPI polishes. But look how little they are. So there's a rapid dry, quick drying top coat and then the rest of these are colors. There's two less opaque pinky nude shades and then there are three different tones of red so this is like a dark coral shade this is like a pure red shade and this is kind of like a burgundy shade but i'm just obsessed with how tiny these things are and it's also amazing because i never finish an entire bottle of nail polish never and then by the time i reach kind of like halfway it dries out and it's just a waste of product so i'm really excited to try these colors and find something that i love the shades in here just in case you're wondering are from your left to right is bubble bath passion cajun shrimp big apple red malaga wine and rapid dry top coat and then this is something that i got from boots super random but it's the nail polish remover pads and they are 15 pads in here and I just thought this would be great for travel and it's just super easy It's just one thing that you can take and you have instead of taking the bottle and the cotton pads You've got one product that does both then on to makeup. This is definitely the category that I'm most excited about So I got two brushes from the H&M makeup collection. I've bought a few things from the H&M makeup collection I really 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 hope they come to South Africa, but these are two brushes This is the small shading brush, which is just this really tiny flat brush and I thought it would be great for getting in the inner corners and under my lash line and then I got the crease blending brush which is just you know your usual rounded soft fluffy brush but it's slightly smaller than the MAC 217 which is like the one that I always use for blending the crease so I thought this would be good for more targeted blending. Then from e.l.f. I got the e.l.f. highlighting brush it just looked like a really good like medium sized fluffy brush and I'm really excited to try this. And e.l.f. is cruelty free and very affordable. And I could not believe that they're in London. They weren't in London when I've come before. So that was very exciting. Then the other thing that I got from e.l.f. was the Mad For Matte Eyeshadow Palette. When I was in the US last year, this is one of the things that I really regretted not getting because their eyeshadow palettes are amazing. And this is like a kind of natural eyeshadow palette. Let me actually just unpackage it and then I'll show you guys the shades. This palette in particular is called the Summer Breeze palette. Super basic packaging, but very good quality. There's a mirror in there, and then all the shades in there look like that. You get your warm neutrals, you get your blending shades, and then you get slightly darker shades, so you could create a matte smoky eye if you really wanted to, or just something super soft and just warm toned, and I'm all about those warm toned shades, and I really can't wait to use this palette, and Elf Shadows I've heard such good things about. I haven't tried any of these makeup products, so if you guys would like to see a first impressions, let me know, and I'd be happy to get that up for you. Just let me know in the comments down below. Then another product from The Ordinary, this is the serum foundation and this is the lighter weight formula that they have. So they have a full coverage one. This is the serum foundation and again, the packaging is beautiful. I got the shade 3.0Y, which is for yellow undertones and this has an SPF 15 in it. And the packaging is just really great for travel because it's plastic, it's in a pump and I'm glad that they cater for different undertones of skin. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this one. I kind of swatched it on the back of my hand and it does seem like a super natural kind of finish and light to buildable medium coverage. Then for lashes, I got the Isla Fleur de Force lashes. So Fleur is a British YouTuber and she did a collaboration with Isla a while ago and I believe that her lashes are available in South Africa as well. And these are the lightweight fully flow lashes and they just seemed super like fluffy but still kind of natural lashes so I'm really excited to try those and then the Isla Cheryl flower girl lashes and I'm a huge fan of the Isla X Cheryl lashes I just think they're amazing and they just give the right amount of drama without being too over the top and then still on the lash side of things I got the duo lash glue this is the dark tone one and it's the brush tip one so it's black glue which is amazing because you don't see any of the white glue on your eye like you run no risk of seeing that and I, I just really really love this lash glue it's the best one that I've tried then another product from e.l.f. this is the Baked Highlighter in Blush Gems and this just looks amazing. I swatched it in store and again, these products are super affordable. 
And baked highlighters always make me nervous because they break really easily, so fingers crossed it does not break on the way home. I've heard that this one breaks kind of easily, but that's true with all baked products. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. Then from NARS, this is a product that has been spoken about so much, so, so much in the past few months. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and it, I got the shade Medium 2 Ginger, and it comes in this little pot. NARS packaging is just absolutely beautiful. It's this tiny glass pot, and it has the plain black logo on the lid, and then you unscrew it, and there's the product. <gasps> Look how satisfying. So I'm really excited to try that because I've just heard really good things that it's a matte concealer but it doesn't look cakey, it's a super light formula so yeah, I can't wait to try that. Then this is the L'Oreal Back to Bronze Sunkissed Bronzer. So they came out with a whole bunch of like summery kind of products lately. They came out with highlighter drops and highlighter palettes and bronzers and that kind of thing. So I was really excited to try this because it looked like a really good shade. Like it's a neutral kind of shade. It kind of reminded me of Benefit Hula. So it's a really good neutral kind of shade to where it warms your face but also kind of contours at the same time. It wasn't chalky at all when I swatched it and I'm really excited to try this because as you guys know I'm almost out of my Benefit Hula so it would be great if this could be kind of like my replacement. Then on to brows. I've heard so many good things about the Soap and Glory brow pencil. So this is the Archery 2-in-1 brow filling pencil and brush. So it looks like this super tiny pencil with the product on the one end again super fine tip and then the brush on the other so I'm really excited to try this and then last but not least this is the only fragrance purchase that I have in this haul this is the Zara Eau de Toilette I Love Petals fragrance and the packaging is just so cute I've used this a few times and it is beautiful the scent on this is so stunning I just fell in love with it when I was in the store and the fragrances are so affordable this one was I think 12 pounds like maybe like 12.95 so like 13 pounds which converted I don't know like 200 rand I could be way off but it's somewhere around there like it's just really affordable so this is the I love petals scent and it is just oh my gosh it's so beautiful if you guys like fragrances that are fresh but not sweet then you'll love this one this is just a super girly light fresh scent that is perfect for spring and summer and it's a massive bottle as well so it'll last ages the only thing is that the fragrance itself does not last on my skin for a very long time which I find very disappointing but at the same time it's super affordable I like the fragrance so I just kind of like douse my clothing and my hair in this fragrance to try and get it to last longer but I've been really really impressed with how amazing the scent smells considering how affordable it is so if you guys are looking for fragrances to try but you don't want to break the bank Zara fragrances I would highly recommend and that is it for this haul I hope you guys enjoyed this so I'm staying in London for the next two and a half ish months look forward to the fashion haul that I will be posting a bit later this month but just let me know what other videos you guys would like to see from here I've been vlogging while I've been here and I'm just always keen for ideas and any videos that you guys would want to see so let me know but other than that I hope you guys are having an amazing day don't forget to give this video a like share it subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me and I will see you guys in my next video bye